Hello, welcome to Never Unboxing. This time, it's the Roberts 93i DAB, DAB Plus digital radio with Spotify Wi Fi, internet radio, and with media streaming. There are two models available at the moment. This is the slightly older one, it has the colour screen and it's mainly in black. The newer one has a more rounded sort of wooden top. It has a leather strap. This is all in one band and it's about 200 pounds. This one's about 140. I got this 138. So I opted for this one because it was quite a bit cheaper and um, I quite like the look of this one. I'm wondering about the shiny top though, whether it's gonna be a bit of a dust magnet. But anyway, here we go, here's the box. So, not much to say there, that's other languages, but you may wish to pause. So, what do we get? DAB, DAB Plus, FM, RDS with Wi-Fi, Internet, Radio, Colour Display, Spotify Connect to Compatible Music Player, MP3, Windows Media Audio, uh, FLAC, AAC, playback via DLNA and USB, infrared remote control, three-way speaker system with a nice subwoofer on the back, acoustically tuned wooden cabinet, high gloss piano finish, and various other things which you can pause if you need to look at those. So let's see what we get in the box. So there's a Spotify Premium and a way of uh, connecting to that. I don't know if I'm going to be using that or not, I may do. I've really bought it for the uh, DAB radio and the ability to uh, be able to play through USB appeals to me. Uh, there's a rather thick looking manual. power supply. Oh, and a remote control. Don't expect that. Feels quite heavy actually for a remote control. No, I hope it doesn't take the stupid little button um, batteries, but we'll find out in a moment. Oh, something else was in there. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, it does take don't particularly like using those. I'd like to live in a AA and triple A world myself. Oh. Let's check there's nothing else in this box before I uh, put it to one side. No. Nope else in there. Let's put that up. Okay. Readjust camera. Right. So on the back we have internet, this is a USB but just for service, possibly for an upgrade, I don't know. USB playback which is something I was really looking forward to getting. It has an auxiliary in, a line out and a headphone, so it's, it's really got everything, you can even plug things in and play. Um, this one doesn't have Bluetooth though, I think it's the other one that has the Bluetooth, but for me that's more than enough. Really I'm interested in the radio and USB playback. So something to listen to around the house. It's reasonably heavy, but not, not, not too bad. It's a very nice uh, piano lacquer finish, 
all the way around there. And I must say a rather smart looking radio. It has two speakers in the front. Fairly small speakers, but of course that's only for mid-range and upper. And the rest will be handled probably by the subwoofer. It's got quite a nice big display area. Um, these are infinity. Just see the oh right, that's infinity and touch. I'd imagine you'd select your station then push. We have standby, alarm, info, preset set, mode, menu, backwards and forwards. Then we have fast back, fast forward, stop, pause, play. So everything you need, nice and simple, nothing over complicated. A nice carrying handle, which is slightly rough where your hand goes. It feels quite solid. It feels very well made indeed, actually. So uh, let's see what else we get with your radio. So there we are, there's the remote control. Don't know if I'm going to be using that myself, but on the remote control, we've got the backwards and forwards one, two, three, four, five mode info. There's a menu on off, volume up and down. There's a select, uh, what does that say? Select snooze. We have a movement in all directions, an alarm, and a preset. And this is sort of a membrane type thing. I mean, it's fairly nice, but personally, I'd rather it took a couple of uh, AAAs rather than that. So I hate having all these different sizes around. Just put my glasses on, see what size this one is. So yeah, this is the fairly standard 2025 size uh, lithium cell, which is three volts. It's a fairly big uh, wall wart transformer, which is AC to DC, of course, switching power supply. It runs on 50 and 60 hertz. It uses 0 0.65, 6, 6, 8 of an amp. Outputs 12 volts at 2.2 amps. It's a class two transformer made in China. It has, oh, quite a, Quite a big RFI choke on there to stop any interference. And it looks to be of a reasonably good length. That's the fairly standard connector for 12 volts there on a lot of things and nine volts quite often. So I was wondering about buying an extension for this. You can buy an optional battery pack, rechargeable, which sticks on the back, but it all looks a bit unsightly or sticking at the back. I don't know, it may or may not affect the subwoofer as well. So let's quick measure here with my arms. One, two, it's, it's about two meters long, that lead. So that's not a bad length. Right then, so what do we get in here? So there's a little bit of blurb about the uh, remote control. How to do batteries, how to navigate, how to configure. Clock, plugging in a language. I think a lot of this will be self-explanatory because it has such a nice display. So I'm gonna connect it and um, see if I can get up to speed with all of this without uh, going through the manual. Let's think about internet radio there. Well, actually, it's, how long is this going for? I was wondering if another language is going to kick in, but no. Accessing server, playback, prune servers. <laughs> Wake on LAN, oh, there's all sorts of uh, things going on. Wow, this is, uh, I, w I was thinking this was going to be a, a multi-language uh, deal, but it's not, the entire, the entire thing is in English. Yeah, well, that's that's quite a thing. So we have 94 pages of English to go through. 
but like I say, it says please read the manual before use, but I'm going to try it without. Okay, so I have now plugged in my transformer, so let's see if I can get through without reading the manual. Well, that's quite a nice display, isn't it? Okay, so I've had this for about a month now, and I think the sound quality is really, really nice. That subwoofer, it's just right, it's not too boomy. Obviously, if you put it against a wall, it's gonna be a bit more boomy, but I've been using it out in the garden, and um, I've just bought an extension lead for the 12 volt power supply, and it works really, really well. It seems to tune in faultlessly. I've actually got it wired to the ethernet here next to my computer, because I've been looking at some uh, internet radio as well, which is uh, something I haven't had before. Well, I mean, I've got a computer, but I haven't had a standalone unit. So my one criticism of it is, if you haven't got it turned on all the time, is how long it takes before you can actually listen to something. So, you know, you think, oh, the news is on, I just wanna catch it. So I'll turn it on now. Let's wait for this screen. Won't turn on yet. There we go. Oh. There we go. So monetize their offshore wells. The reality is that the technology so it's, it's a little bit of waiting if you haven't got it on all the time. I'm sure it looks like it's designed to be left on. Because when you turn it off, the clock stays on. Now I've, I've done it so that it dims. So it's still on, but it's, it's very dark, so it won't light up the room. So I guess that's how you're meant to leave it. But you know, I'm, I'm one for saving electric, even little amounts of electric. So I don't see the point of having this on all the time. Uh, so I turn it off at the wall. So that's my only real criticism is how long it takes to start up. If you're like me, and you just turn it on when you need it. If you leave it on all the time, like now, it doesn't take just a few moments to start. So the setting up and everything was quite easy on it. Oh, uh, one other thing, the time, I set the time to be set by the um, digital radio signal. It seems to be the quickest and you know, if you're not connected to other things, I think that's the best way to do it. Um, but it's designed to have Wi-Fi on, isn't it? And uh, connections and what have you. Let's just have a quick look around it then. So at the moment I've got Radio 4 on here. So tuning, you just turn this and you can you can pick what you like. See what's see what's available. There we go, and mode. This is where you select an auxiliary in, internet radio, Spotify, and your music player. Now I've got a um, a USB in the back there. So we've got a USB playback. That doesn't work on that. So. Probably, I'll probably get a uh, copyright strike for that now. So this is the internet radio. See, it doesn't take long to load up. And I found this on the avant-garde music genre. Uh, it's about 20, well, 26 minutes long, and it's, a, it's quite a nice ambient piece called Rare Frequency. And there we go, we can get to podcasts. Genre, alternative. So the, the display is nice and clear, and I love it. I think it's a, I think it's a great radio, and I'm really pleased with it. I say I wouldn't have gone for the more expensive one. Besides, I, I don't need the other functions. I just really want it as a plug-in and play radio, and occasionally I might connect the internet to it. The setting up was very easy, I'm not going to go for it all the way through it. It comes on the screen and it's very, very easy to do. It doesn't take more than just a minute or so to uh, to get it up and running. Then it just scans the uh, DAB frequencies, tunes itself in. It is a very easy unit to live with. I don't think I've got much else to say really. Everything. I'm really pleased with it. The sound quality is nice for such a small unit. 
I say I, I mainly listen to spoken word like Radio 4 and things like that. And sometimes when you've got a, a bass speaker at the back, sometimes with spoken word it can be a, a bit over bassy. But that's not the case here. It's okay. And as I say, if you, you do think it sounds a bit boomy, then don't have it too near a wall because the subwoofer is obviously on the back. Anyway, so there we are. So that's the uh, Robert Stream 93i. Dab radio, streamer, etc. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. 